All right, let's get right into it. The Google Apprenticeship, it's a massive opportunity, right? But the application process, it can feel like you're trying to solve a puzzle in the dark. So, in this explainer, we're going to turn on the lights and give you the full solution, step by step. And this is it, isn't it? The million dollar question. It's the very first hurdle, and honestly, it can feel like the highest. You see the job posting, you know you'd be perfect for it, but where do you even start? It looks so overwhelming, but I promise you, it's totally doable. And that's exactly what we're here to do. We're giving you a clear, manageable roadmap. We're gonna break down the entire journey from the moment you click apply all the way to, hopefully, getting that amazing offer. No more guesswork, just a straight path forward. Okay, first things first. Before you can wow them in an interview, you've gotta get their attention in the first place. So section one is all about crafting an online application that doesn't just get seen, it gets you noticed. Now, this looks simple, right? Three easy steps. But the most important part isn't just filling out the form, it's what you do before you even start. The biggest mistake people make is jumping in before their resume and cover letter are absolutely perfect and tailored for this specific role. Let's talk about that a bit more. Think about it like this. Your resume tells them what you can do, but your cover letter tells them why you wanna do it. This is your one shot to tell them your story. Don't just list your skills, connect the dots for them. Why Google? Why this program? What is it about this work that genuinely gets you excited? That passion is what makes an application jump out of the pile. All right, so you hit submit on your application. Deep breath. So, what happens next? Let's jump into section two. After a quick review, you're gonna face your first big test, the Google Online Challenge. Before you even think about any tests, you have to remember that a real person, a Googler, is looking at what you sent in. They're doing a really fast scan to see if you meet the basic qualifications. Your resume has like 10 seconds to convince them you're a good match. Make sure your best stuff is impossible to miss. Now, if your application makes the cut, congrats, you'll get an invitation for this, the Google Online Challenge. This is basically Google's way of testing a whole bunch of candidates at once on some really core skills. It's your first real performance test. And here's where the pressure kicks in. 30 minutes, that's it, that's all you get. So this isn't just a test of what you know, it's a test of how you think and work when the clock is ticking. Time management is not a suggestion here, it is absolutely part of the challenge. So, what are they gonna throw at you? Well, the challenge is really broken into two main parts. First, pretty much everyone gets a section on general cognitive ability. That's just a fancy way of saying logical reasoning and problem-solving puzzles. Then, for roles like software development, you'll get hit with technical, role-specific questions, Knowing you have to prep for both is half the battle. You passed the challenge. That is awesome. Seriously, take a moment. But now you're moving on to the next stage. Welcome to section three, the interview gauntlet. This is where Google really gets to know you. The best way to picture the interview stage is like a funnel. It starts pretty wide with an initial phone screen just to get a feel for your interest and basic fit. If you make it past that, the funnel gets narrower and you move on to two more intense face-to-face -face virtual interviews. That's where they really dig in. So that first call, it's basically a vibe check. They've seen your resume, now they wanna know, can you communicate clearly? Have you actually researched this program? And can they hear real enthusiasm in your voice? It's less about your deep technical skills and more about confirming your passion and professionalism. Okay, you passed the phone screen. Now it's time for the main event. Two virtual interviews with actual Googlers. This is where they go deep. They'll ask you behavioral questions, you know, the tell me about a time when questions, to see what you've done in the past. And the last situational questions, what would you do if, to see how you'd handle things in the future. And yeah, for tech roles, you can bet there'll be more technical questions here too. You did it. You made it through all the interviews. You gave it everything you had. And now, now we get to the final and most exciting part. Section four, crossing that finish line. And this is it. This is the moment it all becomes real. If the team decides you're the best fit, you will get that official offer letter from Google. It'll have all the details, plus everything you need to know about getting started. This is what all that hard work was for. Whew, that was a lot of information, I know. So let's zoom out for a second and just recap the entire journey one more time. Section five is your complete application roadmap all on one screen. So let's put it all together. The whole thing is really a four-stage journey. You start with a great first impression in your application. Then you prove you've got the skills under pressure in the online challenge. After that, you build a real personal connection in the interviews 
and if all goes well, you land that offer. See how each stage builds right on top of the last one? So there you have it, the complete map to navigating the Google Apprenticeship application. The process is broken down, the steps are clear. The only question left is the one right there on your screen. You have the map, so what's your first step? 